my name's Emma and I'm a biomedical scientist in histology. Here in histology we receive tissue samples that we process and analyse to look for certain diseases, mainly cancers. These tissue specimens can be as small as a biopsy or a skin tag that you might have removed at your local GP surgery or they can be much bigger such as a colon or um, a kidney that have been removed during an operation in hospital. The specimens we receive are brought to us from various wards within the hospital via porters and also from our local GP surgeries. Once the specimen has been booked in, it gets brought through to what we call the trimming room. Here in the trimming room, either a specialist biomedical scientist or a consultant will come in to dissect the specimens if required and this means taking um, a large specimen and selecting smaller parts of it to be analysed. Once selected, these get loaded onto a large machine overnight. These machines pump various solutions into the tissue and this prepares the tissue ready for the next step. Once this process is finished, the blocks are removed from the machine and they need to be suspended in molten wax. These blocks are then placed onto a cold plate to solidify the wax ready for the next stage in the process. Once the tissue has been suspended in the wax, it can be brought through to the main laboratory where the blocks are cut by a scientist on a special machine called a microtome. It's important at this stage that the tissue has been embedded into the wax because otherwise if we tried to take a section on these machines, the tissue would crumple. The microtomes produce very thin sections of the tissue which are floated out onto a hot water bath and picked up on a glass slide. The glass slides are placed into a hot oven to melt the wax, leaving just the tissue on the slide. We can now start the staining process. Various dyes and chemicals are used to differentiate the different cell components within the tissue. Some of these stains are automated, which means they are placed onto a machine, and some are hand stained by biomedical scientists. Once the tissue on the slide has been stained, it needs to be checked under a microscope by a biomedical scientist. The biomedical scientist is looking for a good quality section and to check that the staining has worked. Once we are happy with it all, the slides can go through to a consultant for them to diagnose and report. Once the case has been reported, the result gets fed back to the patient. I've been doing this job for almost seven years now. At school, I did biology and chemistry A-levels, so I've always had an interest in science and I knew that I wanted to work in a laboratory when I was older. I went on to university and I did a biological sciences degree and then started off in this career as a medical laboratory assistant. Once I started working in histology, I knew this was the career I wanted to pursue, so I then decided to do a long distance course in order to convert my degree from biological sciences into biomedical sciences. Alternatively, if I knew that this was something I was going to do, I would probably have gone straight to uni and done biomedical science in the first place. Once I had this degree, I could then go on and do a professional qualification which led me to become a qualified biomedical scientist. Now, if I want to, I can progress further. There are other professional qualifications that I can do in order to um, move up the career ladder within histology. There's also options to further my knowledge because we have training sessions where we can all get together as a team and discuss interesting cases and it's nice to be able to learn facts from more senior members of staff who can pass on their knowledge to the rest of us. I enjoy my job because I've always had an interest in science and um, even though we don't interact with patients directly you do know that there is someone at the end of it and it's nice to feel like we're helping somebody every time you come into work.